Hello, my wee darlings, and welcome to Thunder. So I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background, but there's a helicopter up here on our here farm playing around with some stuff. I'm going to flip it around here in just a second so you can see what he's doing, and then I'll explain it. It's going to get loud, and I can't really explain it while it's loud. So, are you ready? Okay, see that little white guy? We got a white one today. So there were guys yesterday that were here uber early. I think I was still in bed, y'all. They were cutting trees. Now, there's a bunch of sets of boughs out there that are all bundled up, which is really cool. But then there's all these trees. And I was, uh, Jeff and I walked through the field yesterday just to see if they even cut that many trees. They weren't here for that long. But there were a lot of people here yesterday. Like the entire driveway. And when I say entire I mean from the gate back there where they come in all the way down the driveway, all the way down past the shitters, you see the shitters? All the way down there. They were all, uh, they were all there, man. There were tons of people. Here, you get to see another one. lovely lady who has purchased the trees from the tree farm. She basically has purchased everything out. They're all hers, basically. Um, she said she was only going to cut and take about 150 trees this year from our farm. Um, no problem. So, in this pile over here, I would say there might be about 70 trees. There's 12 that have already been bundled from yesterday that they brought that were close cuts. But everything else is beyond a fence line and is pretty far out there. So they set out all of these um, cords where they wanted to pick up trees. And then this helicopter actually picks them up after they've been cut and brings them over. They couldn't do it yesterday because there was too much fog. So they are bringing them in and uh, dropping them. And then there's a fellow over here that pulls all the ropes out. But he has to be quick about it because the guy comes back again with more trees. He's going to do this probably for a good couple hours today. I seriously rolled out of bed this morning. It is a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, I rolled out and was like, trees! Because I've been waiting for this. <laughs> so this is every year on the farm. I'm not sure how they're going to pluck all the boughs out that have been bundled up. Because there's a bunch of, like, piles of boughs 
which is really cool too. Um, maybe later today, once everybody's gone for the day, we'll try and climb up there. But I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna flip it around. I don't know if you can see, but over there, you see those? Uh, at least right there. Yep, there's like four or five of them right there. I don't know. It kind of looks like there's a cord on it, so they might be coming to get those ones too. But um, yeah, there's a ton of trees just like that all over the fields out here. And there are thousands of trees out there. And they're uh, picking up all the trees. And I don't know. I think they're going to put them through the little chute thing there that bundles them up, you know, and puts the little stuff around them. But each one of these trees, y'all, is like minimum seven feet, 10, 12 feet. These are some big ass trees. That's a big tree. Okay, one, two. That's a big tree. He is so gentle. Oh, where's it going? Oh, wow. Uh... He might be looking for the fuel truck. Yep, he's gonna go fuel up. This is his first fuel up since he started. And the fuel truck is down there. It's a long video, but it's very intriguing. Oh, is he gonna set it down? Not the damn. He's gonna hug it. And he set it down for a fuel up. Cool stuff. All right, guys. I'm crying over here because of the freaking wind. Super fun. Um, have a great rest of Sunday. Sorry, that was super close up. Have a great Sunday. Um, yeah, long video, but I think it's worth it. That's some cool ass shit. This is going to be my day and I'm okay with it.